Hello everyone, welcome back to the online maths class. I am Shweta and today I am going to teach you a new topic that is place value chart. This video will be helpful for all the students those who are studying from standard 4 to 6. In this video we will learn about the Indian place value chart and international place value chart. So children why do we need this place value chart? If we are dealing with a large number then it is very essential to know the value of each digit. Okay, so to know about the value of each digit according to their position, we need a place value chart. Suppose we, I am just writing here a three digit number that is 432. So how we will read that? This we already know. This is ones position, tens position and hundreds position. Okay, so we will read this as 432. But what if we are dealing with this number? Then how to read this number? So to know about the value of each digit. What is the value of this? What is the value of this? The value of this two digit is 1's. The value of this digit that is 3 is 10's. The value of this digit is 100's. So to know about the value of each digit we need a place value chart. Here we will learn about two different kinds of place value chart. One is Indian place value chart that we Indians use to follow. And the second one is international place value chart that the other countries use to follow. Okay, so should we start this video? To form an Indian place value chart, we have to group the numbers into some periods. Okay, till now you already have studied about ones, tens, hundreds, thousand and ten thousand positions, places. Okay. But if we are just dealing with the large numbers, so what we have to do, we have to group the numbers into periods. These are the places. But now here we will just group these places into periods. So how we will group that? The first period will be ones. Okay. Now second period will be thousands. Then lakhs and after that crores. So these are the periods. Okay. What we have to do? First we have to group the numbers into periods. Now these are the periods and each period will be divided further. Like ones will be divided into three parts. Ones, tens and hundreds. Okay. Thousand will be divided into two parts. Thousands and ten thousand. Lakh will also divide into two parts. Lakh and ten lakh. And crores will also divide into Two parts that is crore and 10 crore. Means except ones we have to divide each period into two parts. Okay. 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore and 10 crore. But ones will be divided into three parts. Ones, tens and hundreds. Okay. Till now you have understood. First we have to form the periods. The numbers will be grouped into periods okay these are the places here these are what these are the places that we already have studied and these are periods so this is indian place value chart now suppose i am taking this number This number I have taken. Now how to represent this number in this Indian place value chart. We always have to remember that we have to start writing from the right hand side. And then we have to move to the left hand side. The value of the right hand side will be less than the value of the left hand side. Means this is 1's. 1. We can say that this is 1's. Then 1. 
Tens means ten. Hundred means hundred. Thousand like this and ten thousand like this. We can write. So if you will notice each place have ten times bigger value than its right side. Okay. Means if it is ten, means ten is ten times bigger than one. So, so this is I am telling that each place has ten times bigger value than its right side. Okay. Hundred you can see also this is ten times bigger than ten. Ten tens are hundred. Similarly like that one thousand ten times bigger than hundred. Hundred tens are one thousand. So all the places. Have ten times bigger value than x, right? Understood? Now, how to represent these numbers and where we have to put the comma? Now, why I'm telling you to put the comma in between this number? I'm just telling you to put the comma in between of this number to make it easy to read the numbers. Like this, this is very difficult to read this number. Now, now if we will put comma in between of this number and we will put all these number on the indian place value chart then you can just easily read out the numbers like this one we have to where we have to write this is at ones position so here we will write one this zero here and then seven here eight will go at this place and six will go at this place 5 will go at this place and 2 will go at this place. 3 will go at this place and 7 will go at this place. Now where we have to put the comma? We have to put the comma in between of the periods. We have to put the comma from the right side. So how many places are there in one period? 3. So here after 3 digit we will put one comma. Now, how many places are there in this period? 1002. So, after 2 digit, we will again put a comma. Then, lakhs also 2. So, after that, we will put a comma. Now, we can easily read this. Like this, we have to read at 1. 73 crores, 25 lakhs, 68,700 and one. How you will write this? Seventy three crore twenty five lakh sixty eight. thousand seven hundred one I hope the Indian place value chart is clear to you now we will learn how to work on international place value chart in this also first we have to group the numbers into periods like we have done in the Indian place value chart. In ones, thousands, then millions and billions. Okay, unlike Indian place value chart, here we had written lakh and crore. We have to write here million and billions. Now, one more important thing about international place value chart that each period will be divided into three parts. Okay, ones into three, thousands also into three, millions, three and billions in three. Okay, so these are the periods. Now we will just divide these periods into 
places. Ones will be divided into one, tens and hundreds. Thousands will be divided into thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Okay. Similarly like that million in millions, ten million and hundred million. Billion in billion, ten billion and hundred billion. Now I am taking the same number that I have taken for the Indian place value chart. Now how we have to represent this number in this international place value chart. So from the right hand side we have to start writing. 1 at this place, 0 this, 7 here, 8, 6, 5, 2, 3, 7. Okay. Now, how we have to put the commas? Like all the periods are divided into three parts. So, from the right hand side, after three digits, we have to put the comma. Like ones will be here. The second comma we have to put after three. Because this thousand is divided into three parts. Three places are here. So, after three digits, we will put one comma. Now, here, if... I had written 1 like it will go here then we will put comma here but I had not written any number so I am not going to put comma. Now how we have to read this 732 millions 568 thousands and 701 like how we will write this. Seven hundred thirty two in which period this is seven three two million. So we will write here million million then this one five hundred sixty eight. 568 I hope this is clear. Now suppose I had written here 1. Then how we will have to write this? 1 billion. Okay. 1 billion 700. Like I am writing here. 1 billion comma 732 million 568,701. I hope you understood how you have to represent the numbers on the international and Indian place value chart. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.